Something I didn't expect to be talking about today, a Sims movie is coming, of all things. <laughs> so according to The Hollywood Reporter, The Sims movie is in the works, being produced by Margot Robbie. And I must say, it does feel kind of fitting. I mean, obviously she's associated a lot with Barbie now. Barbie's one of those things where it's like, Barbie doesn't really have a storyline. So it's like, what on earth could you make a Barbie movie about? But they managed to do it. And Margot Robbie was a great fit. And now they're making The Sims movie, which again, doesn't really have a specific storyline, but there are so many things that they could do with it. Margot Robbie was obviously a great actress in Barbie. What would she be like as a producer of The Sims movie? We'll have to wait and see. We don't really have any details other than it's being in the works. Now, this isn't actually the first time we've had news of a Sims movie. Back in 2007, we had news of a Sims movie being produced and it just fizzled out into to absolutely nothing. We also got news of a potential My Sims TV show. My Sims was a Sims title that was marketed a lot towards children, whereas The Sims was more of a Team Plus game. So I'm assuming this My Sims TV show would have been a kids show. And I honestly don't know why they didn't actually go forward with it. I think that would have been amazing. So it seems like The Sims movie produced by Margot Robbie is going to be the third attempt of bringing the video game onto a screen. The first thing that came through my mind is who's going to play Bella Goth? Are we going to find out the Bella Goth mystery in this movie? That is what I want to know. I'm sure we probably won't hear anything about this movie for at least a few months. We may not even hear anything until next year, but we can already gather at least some information about what this movie will likely be. Of course, The Sims is a life simulation game where you play as your own customized character and you give them personality traits and skills and relationships. And you basically go through the mundane side of life, like making dinner, looking after children. But you see, that one has me believe, well, like, are we, are we having a Sims movie where we watch them go to work and clean their house? Like, because <laughs> that would be a little bit boring. Obviously, The Sims has a lot of lore and stories, excluding The Sims 4, which doesn't. The Sims 1, 2 and 3 does. Obviously, the disappearance of Bella Goth is probably the most infamous one one. We've got the history of the Landgrab family and how they became rich. The Sims wiki actually has a huge article outlining the Sims timeline and it actually starts with the Sims 3, then the Sims 1, and then it actually moves on to the Sims 2. And there is a lot of information about this timeline. The Sims 4 does not fit into this, but then the Sims 4 is the most recent game. Are they going to be drawing a lot of inspiration from the Sims 4 in terms of inspiring this movie? Or are they going to go back to the roots of the official timeline, even though they've abandoned it in the games, maybe we'll see a resurgence of it in the movie. Is this movie gonna depict Sims dying and drowning in a swimming pool? <laughs> This is the funny thing. Are they going to have a player controlling The Sims in this movie? There's a lot of unanswered questions and I think it's really exciting because there's literally so many different routes that they could go down with a movie like this. I mean, imagine a Katy Perry cameo, Sweet Treats cameo. <laughs> I'm just putting it out there. Are we going to have woohoo scenes? Are we going to have the mods? Imagine a Sims movie with mods. That would be very, very niche, but it would be very, very clever. In terms of what it could look like The Sims official YouTube channel actually has this video called Pass the Spark with singer Anita where they develop this set which I guess kind of looks like a movie set where they've built real Sims objects into an entire set and obviously this isn't a movie it's just a little promotion but it gives us a little bit of an idea of what we might actually see in something like this. I mean would they actually have plum bobs on their head just like they have in this throughout the entire movie? I I don't know if I would personally find that a little bit annoying or not, but I think it's a really interesting concept just to have a look at and see how a Sims movie could actually look like. A question on my mind is, is the Sims movie going to have a ton of bugs and glitches? <laughs> Is the, is the towny AI going to be dumb like it is in the game or are they going to be clever? Also, another thing, like, as we all know, The Sims has a lot of packs. Imagine, <laughs> imagine if they give you the first 10 minutes of the movie and then they're like, in order to unlock the next scene, purchase it for $34.99. <laughs> 
watch the intro to the Sims movie for free. No, guys, imagine if they had like, um, you know, Bone Hilda or like vampires or werewolves in this Sims movie, but they were like blacked out like a silhouette and it's like you have to spend $34.99 to unlock them. <laughs> If you want to, if you want to unlock the characters. <laughs> Sims speaking in Simlish, but if you want to have their English dub, you have to spend $25.99. <laughs> no, genuinely, imagine if the Sims movie had DLC. Like, honestly, I wouldn't put it past them. <laughs> I wouldn't put it past them. No, I wouldn't. We might even have a loading screen between each scene. <laughs> that would be very, very immersive. Very, very realistic. <laughs> but I'm really curious who you guys think would be cast for a movie like this. Looking at all of the Sims 4 townies, which actors would be playing which townies? I think it's a really interesting one to think about. Of course, the movie will not have toddlers. They will come in a future update, maybe the sequel part two. And then swimming pools of course they'll probably come in a part two as well the movie will probably only launch with adult sims and teen sims and child sims i'm assuming the babies will be stuck in the crib so we'll never be able to leave i'm also assuming that they're going to be recording this movie in 15 frames per second because obviously the sim suffers from a lot of frame rate drops no sorry i'm gonna stop <laughs> but seriously who do you think would suit playing bello goth especially who would suit playing playing the goth family? Who would suit playing the Landgrab family? Would you like to see Sims 4 townies like Bob and Eliza pancakes? Or would you like to see resurgence of the older <laughs> Sims 4 townies? At this stage, I think it's just impossible to guess how it would go. But you guys let me know. Thank you very much for watching. I will see you in the next one.